It's showtime. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Wednesday once again. You know what that means. Update day on Dragon Ball Legends. Yes, it is that time of the week again. So I'll be running through all the events they added to the game, as well as all the ways you can earn CC to get the most out of your game. At the end of this video, I will show all the CC you can earn from each event, as well as tally it all up for you so you can see the total, although I'm sure you probably see it in the title. Either way though, let's get into this. The banner has been added with our purple Super Saiyan Vegeta, our green metal cooler, and our yellow extreme Bojack. Yes, those are the new units. I would not recommend summoning though, unless you run a Super Saiyan team, a Lineage Vivo team, or a Movies team, I just don't think they're really worth it. If you run one of those three teams, then of course, by all means, go for it. Do you. And you know, you can make your own decision too. This is just my recommendation, since I think you should probably save for Black Friday, since it'll probably be pretty hype, not gonna lie. Now, the other two banners they've added are the Super Saiyan Zenkai Goku, the red one as well as the blue Broly Zenkai banner. So if you want a Zenkai either of them, you can go for it. Again, I don't really think the red Goku is worth it at this stage for 7K CC. I think you can get other things that are more helpful for your teams than him, but that's just my opinion. To get CC though for these, you can go to the summon shop and buy some CC. They have new deals, so I thought I'd let you know. They're not the best deals, so I don't really recommend it, but of course, if you want to buy some CC, there you go. They got deals I thought I'd let you know. As for events, the new Vegeta Zenkai event is here. It is just like the Raditz and the Nappa event, and this time it's the Yellow Vegeta. So go do that and get your Zenkai Vegeta if you're into those free extreme Zenkais. As well as when you do it, you'll earn CC along the way from the missions. Now, the other two events they brought back are the Turtles and Cell story missions. So if you haven't done those yet, great place to earn some CC. Go do it. You've already done them, well, you've already earned the CC, so I can't help you there. But make sure you go check those out if you haven't. Then, they added in the more Halloween missions, so go collect more pumpkins, send your people back out on those adventures. Don't stop now, because there's more CC and summon tickets to obtain. So make sure you're doing those adventures, as well as the PvP season reset, so go collect your rewards and get on the grind for top 1k, top 10k, whatever you're going for go hit up that PvP grind once again. That about does it for all the new events. Not a lot in this update, but for the raid medals, or yes, the raid medals, make sure you check your inbox for them. Some people have gotten them, and some people have had a weird kind of glitch going on where it says they got zero even though they played. So I'm sure Legends will address that and, you know, be on the lookout for a tweet or something from them. Their normal channels of communication. I'm sure they'll let us know how they're gonna fix it and if there's any, you know, compensation, which I kind of doubt there will be, but maybe we'll get lucky because they made a, a misstep. All right, now to break down all the CC you get from each individual mission so you guys know where to target and spend your energy. I've already done 110 accounting exam questions today for that test, and then I have been studying for my math exam tomorrow, so why not just do some more math while I'm at it, I thought. So here we go. You get 604 CC from the cell story missions. If you haven't done it yet, if you've already done it, well, you've already earned that. 302 from the Turtle Story missions, another 1,599 from the new Zenkai Vegeta. If you do everything, you know, all the missions, all the challenges, everything, you'll get 1,599. You get 200 from the Pumpkin missions, so make sure you guys are doing those. 245 if you do every daily, you know, you complete all your dailies for the whole week, you'll get another 245 there. 1,000 you'll be able to get from the Raid Medals uh, once they fix that issue, you know, I talked about. Then 1K if you get top. 10k in PvP. If you get rank 1, it's 1,500, but only one person gets that, and top 10k is a lot easier, of course, than number 1. And then you get 300 from the PvP missions that you, you know, play in certain battles, beating certain opponents, you know, a lot easier to get. If you get top 10k, you'll definitely complete all of those as well, so. In total, this comes out to 5,250 CC total you can obtain from this update. So, Go get that CC, save up for Black Friday or whatever it is you're hoping to get. Maybe it's a Zenkai or whatnot. And uh, I wish you all the best. As always, if this video helped you out in any way, shape, or form, you enjoyed it, leave a like. helps out a lot. And uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. Please, I appreciate it. I love the support. It's been great recently, so thank you all for that. It means a lot to me. And uh, as always, I hope you all are staying happy and healthy. And I'll catch you all tomorrow. Oh.